Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to do mail merge. So we're going to follow the steps that are listed here. Um, open a blank document in Word. So here's the blank document. Okay, um, then go to mailings, start mail merge and labels. So mailings, um, here's start mail merge and we're gonna be making labels. And then in the lower right corner, you're gonna see step two of six, click label options. And in the label options dialog box, choose your label vendor in the label vendors list, Avery US letter, product field 5161 address labels. And just for future reference, it's the product number on the package of your label. So um, just when you go to Office Max or wherever you go to buy uh, the labels that you want to print on, all of the boxes have a product number at the top on it somewhere. And that's the number that you pick from these options. So right here, um, well, we're automatically given this. So la uh, label options. Um, ours is going to be Avery U.S. letter. I believe that's what it said over here. Avery U.S. letter. And our product number is 5161 address labels. So, um, oh, right here. So you just scroll through the list to find them, but mine's already chosen. And they're all in order by number. So 5161. right here, um, address labels, and then click OK. And then we get a page that looks like a table, but those are all of your labels, OK? Um, your document now displays a table with an outline of the labels. If you don't see the outline, go to Table, Layout, and select View Grid Lines, which you guys should already know how to do, but mine are already here. So you go to Table, Layout, and right here, View Grid Lines is how you can do that. Um, next. Um, we're going to go to file and save it as your name and golf course labels. So file, save as, and I'm going to save it as in my advanced apps folder. My name, golf course labels. Then um, the next thing we're going to do is type a new list. Um, we're going to actually uh, choose our recipients next. Okay. So as soon as it's saved, um, we're going to go back to the mailings list. And we're going to do um, select recipients. And we're going to have to type a new list. Okay. Now I've got further instruction in here about what to do. Um, you're going to customize columns and you're going to click title and then delete it and yes and you're going to do this for all the field names except for first and last name. Okay, so here are all the field names and we're going to do customize columns and title delete. Yes, and we're going to do this for each one of them except first and last name. We're going to keep those. So actually, if I click on the bottom one, all I have to do is delete. Yes delete yes every time until we have only the first and last name fields and then we can click OK okay and then the next instruction um, type in your list of eight people and hit tab to add the next person also you can make the columns wider the same way you do in Excel to see everything so who are your who are your people that you have to type in um, click the PDF here, and hopefully you're able to read it okay. Um, your people are here. I've got you listed like this, okay? So you're going to put their uh, the first name. If it's a couple, like here, Tony and Peg Althaus. First first name is going to be Tony and Peg. Last name, Althaus. Okay, if you have, a, like, Bellevue Schools is in here somewhere, then the first name would just be Bellevue Schools or whatever it is of the business name, and then there would be no last name, okay? So um, let me do a couple of those here just for real quick. And you can adjust these columns like this to make them wider so you can see it better. Uh, my first one, I'm just going to do mine as an example. 
uh, Tracy and DJ Weber. Okay, my second one maybe is Bellevue High School. No last name. Um, Tom Smith, like that. So just type in your names here. When you are all done, click OK. And it's going to ask you to save. Okay, so how are we going to save this? Um, right here. Um, when you're done, click OK. Save it to the location chosen by the computer, not your OneDrive, with the name Golf Course Your Name. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in. We're going to leave it here at this location, and we're going to type Golf Tracy Weber, but use your name, okay? And I'm going to say, well, I already did this, so I'm going to say yes. So now you're going to see we got some things in here. This is what mail merge looks like. These are some fields that are telling it to go to the next record, okay? Um, so let's continue to follow the instructions here. Um, and then we're going to click on the first cell of the table, and we're going to put, we're going to insert the field names. Um, and we're going to put a space between the first and last name fields, and we're going to do update labels. So let's see how this works. So right here, in this field, we're going to uh, make sure you're here at mailings. Okay, we did the start mail merge with the recipients. Now we're going to insert merge field, first name, space, insert merge field, last name. Okay, and then now update labels. Now it has it there for all of them. Okay. Um, next thing, we're going to preview the labels. So click here. We're just moving along here. We, we, we inserted our fields and now we're going to preview. So click preview results and here's what mine look like. And that looks good. We've got spaces where they need to be. Okay. Um, you know, and this just arrows through all of them, but whatever. I'm going to go back to the beginning. You could, you do have enough to fit one page. So what do you do when, once you have them all there? Um, you're going to complete the mail merge by doing edit individual labels, merge all records, and then OK. And then we're going to save the new file as your name, golf course labels merged. OK, so finish and merge, edit individual documents, all, puts it into a new one. This is where, where you can see labels one and you can see the other one's still here. OK, um, file save as and you're saving it as your name golf course labels merged and the next thing we're going to do is finish uh, formatting this so it says um, Change the font for all your labels to bold, calibre 26, and center each cell. So I'm going to make sure you're here at the merged file, okay? Um, I'm going to do uh, control A to select all, and I'm going to do calibre. Twenty-six. Bold. And was there anything else? And center. And again, make sure that you're on right here, merge. And you know, you can see all these extra things. It's because when you go home, here's your show hide in case you don't remember, and then click on that to get rid of that. So then now we're, we're ready to actually print. Um, so here's the instructions to print. Um, you're going to go to file, print, put a label sheet in the printer and print. And after that, you're going to upload this that Word file that contains the merged labels to this assignment to turn it in. Okay, so um, here's this. I'm going to go to File, Print, and you're going to probably choose the white printer, but you could use the black printer too. Um, let's see. And you're not going to print on both sides. It's going to be one-sided. All of your labels will be on one side. And you'll get the labels. Uh, they're back at the printer or should be. They're the ones that are the 5161. So look for that number on the box. Um, and make sure you put the paper in the printer the correct way. 
um, and then print your labels and then hand them in to me and then upload this file, um, the merged file to this assignment so that I have access to it in case the golf course needs to change any of your information. Um, and that's how you do mail merge. You just basically, um, when you're doing mail merge, uh, and by the way, here's the difference between these two. Okay, right here, Tracy Weber golf course labels. I'm previewing the results. If I turn that off, this is really what I'm looking at. So if after you merge, you're like, oh, this is not the way it should be, then you could come back here, fix it here, then finish and merge, save it again as the same name, but save it over top of it so that the uh, changes are noted. So here's here's an example of that. I'll save this. So let's say there was, um, I don't know, I did it wrong. I, I need uh, to put first and last name on separate lines instead of one space, okay? I can hit enter here and then do update labels. So they're all like that. I can preview again, and now it's like this, and then I do finish and merge, edit individual documents, all, okay. Um, and here, now it's I'm back here, so now I can go file, save as, and I save it as, um, you know, the golf course labels updated again. Um, that It's not such a big deal with these because you don't have very many of these, but if you had 200 labels and you made a mistake, you definitely are gonna want to um, change this file. Okay, the labels file. So, all right, that's how you do mail merge.